I danced. I uh, <laughs> I danced, and that was that took up most of my time. I taught dance, and I mean, I was friends with everybody. I hung out with everybody, so I, uh, I, I yeah, had a I good time. It. I had a good time. I ran for class president. Cameron Diaz. Oh, hang, hang on. Cameron Diaz earned three million for Shrek. I said ten. Ten million for Shrek Two. Oh, that's where you got it. Thirty plus million for Shrek the Third. And forty three plus for Ever After. There you go, my friend. Cameron Diaz off of the Shrek series made. 70, 80. So her 32 was $90 million. For Shrek 3. Because that came out that last year. Almost $90 million off of that. That's what it says. I need to be, uh, I need to do like. Holy camonies. I need to do like cartoon movies and be the voice of something. That's so amazing that I would go, why Clef Jean is about to announce his candidate. Canada, Canada, he's going to run Canada for president. <laughs> yes, he is. He's going to run for president of Haiti. Isn't that crazy? But he Why? is a big supporter of... Um, of I mean, that's supporter. the music he started singing was... Uh, exactly. Fuji's. You know, kind of... Yeah, uh, they, the Fuji's, they brought that Haiti... And he's that, a big supporter with, you know... supporter? No. Haiti supporter with, you know, raising money to, um, you know, to send to them because of all the stuff that they have going on. I'm going to say after the earthquake, uh, they got a lot of rebuilding to do. Yeah. Because that's where everybody's at. I wonder, I think that's the Duke of Earl who wrote the Book of Love, but I wonder. <laughs> wonder, wonder. Would what, you, what, what do you what, wonder? You know, what do you, I mean, what, what can you do? I, I don't understand why you run for president. I mean, do you think you're going to change with your celebrity well, status? Well, well, the president of Haiti is probably way different than the president of the United States. Well, that's probably yeah. They probably have a lot more pull they have, um, on what goes on they in have countries a like that. Chamber of Defense. I think that's what I think that's what his title is. That that's one way to be safe. Just get in the chamber. Yeah, Chamber of Defense. I think is is the guy's title, and he's very excited about him running for candidacy for president and he's saying it'll he thinks that it'll kind of I don't remember what all he said but well, yeah, he, okay. he, he feels really good about it oh, yeah. he likes it, likes it. go 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 Florida convicted the burglar do it <laughs> Wait, you should say no. what in the word you is feel. suing the man and two other men that captured and detained him for five hundred thousand and punitive damages for injuries they caused while detaining him. <laughs> Did y'all get all that? That was a great story. Wasn't now it? let me tell you something. Our friend, who is a detective, police captain, the main man, stopped by the other day, yesterday, and was talking to us. Mm -hmm. And he was telling us a, a, a story of, of, of a chase that they had one time. Uh, and that story right there does not surprise me after listening to the conversation he had with the burglar that they captured. Well, the, the man and the two other men that captured him are not police officers. They are citizens. And the, the one man out of the three is the guy that the convicted burglar, he was burglarizing his vehicle and taking out some kind of bike or something out of his car. Oh, what did they do to window. him? Well, they, they of course, you know, the detained him. They didn't whoop his no, butt or anything like that. What were the like injuries? That. Nothing. It didn't, it didn't say any injuries. He just said that it was rough, unnecessary, civil <laughs> Arrest. Well, I could get arrested for rough. <laughs> That's what he said. He had oh, no. Nobody sues us. <laughs> he had no markings or anything in his mouth. Once again, tried, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but they have to be stealing something. Yeah, he was stealing. You just stealing. can't get. You can't get charged for the rough stuff you're doing. Oh yeah. They have to be stealing yeah, something yeah. for you to rough them up. Yeah. That, that's what. That's how you. Have speaking to of roughed up. Speaking <laughs> of roughed up. The question of the day. Red Sea question of the day was how much toleration is needed for a marriage to work? 
and you had to rate it from 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Right. I got a lot of 15, <laughs> 20. I got a 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. <laughs> I, Mary sent in. She went, I don't really have to have much tolerance. But David yeah, does. <laughs> you know what? I had all guys comment on mine except for my Aunt Deanna. She commented. But I had all men, and I would be looking at it right now, but my phone is dead, so I can't look it up. Really? But. Mm, the battery in the new iPhone 4 lasts a long time. <laughs> you know what, though? Is yours broke down? Is it cracked? Is that what happened to yours? It's not? What? Does it need repair? Because if your foundation oh. needs repair, you call Waco Foundation. They're our show sponsor for today. I was like, huh? That was a good... My, my phone needed, <clears throat> my phone needed. And let me say something. And, and when this show's over, I want you to call them. And I want you to tell them, we want them as one of our big sponsors on Fox. Oh, uh -huh, I went We by. want y'all. I want y'all. Big sponsor. Yes, I went Fox. by and saw him yesterday. Okay. And gave good. him some information. Good, so. good, good. Speaking of Waco, Waco. Did you know... There are some good golfers in Waco. That would not, I am not one of them. <laughs> and yesterday evening, we got the pleasure of watching them hit some golf ball. Now listen. That was pretty fun. We are getting ready to start a new show, kind of like our living room wars. It's going to be in between our series. It's going to be called the Hackers Golf Challenge, Hacker Skill Challenge. Hackers being the key word. Because guess what? We're going to shoot more than one, and we're going to have a lot of hackers. This first group goes from 27 years old to 73, I believe. 70. Uh -huh. 70. He's oh, 70. I remember. I believe he said 70. I thought there was one that was 73. But anyway. Johnny might be 70. Right good, good golfers from 27 to 73. They have all been good golfers for a long time. Scratch golfers. I mean, zero handicaps up to about eight, I think. And uh, they're going to be the Hackers Golf Challenge. The yeah. first they're gonna eight first contestants group. of Hackers Golf Challenge. And we shot what's going to be edited into a promo. It was a fun group of guys. I must admit, they were funny. And um, I really enjoyed you know what? it. You know what? The one guy, we're going to cut to it right here. And I'm going to let you know exactly how old he is. Until tomorrow, I am Russ, this is Steph, that is Chris. Enjoy a little uh, behind the scenes of the Hackers Golf Show. We're out of here. Well, my age, just give me an example. When I was born, the Dead Sea wasn't even sick. I'm 70 years old, and my best round was a 63. My name is Colby Harwell. I've shot 66, 66, 65, 68 the last four rounds of golf, and they want to beat me. They better come on. There you go. <laughs> this one of those little teasers. Cash money. Oh, I like that. That was perfect. Okay. Great shot in the right rough. Car pass. He's looking for a little trail help. Oh, look at him. Uh oh, Here. little Lloyd, little Lloyd, little Lloyd, little Lloyd. That first one, though. He's going to hold it out. That's a bunker.